principal not being able to give you the tour. He's real busy. I'm working up the school lunch schedule. This trying to work. I'm sure. This was Mr. Jarrett's classroom. He was like the best substitute. Kids would sit in on the class even though they weren't enrolled. And he did the coolest experiments. I can see that. Oh, yeah. Hey, we even did a virology unit on bugs to learn their resiliency. He, he told us that roaches would be the only living thing after a biological holocaust. Them and some woman named Parker. Hardly sounds like high school biology. Mr. Jared, like, marched to his own drummer. He's a one-man band, all right. The best part is he wouldn't grade us. It was like he was conducting his own experiment. We were collecting the data for him. You run along to homeroom now. among us, geniuses with the ability to become anyone they want to be. In 1963, a corporation known as the Center isolated a young pretender named Jared and exploited his genius for their research. Then one day, their pretender ran away. Symptoms include weight loss, fever, night sweats, violent cough, swollen lymph nodes. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Looks like it. But you don't see that much anymore. No. But he'll be fine once we get him admitted. How's the boy? Too early to tell. <laughs> We're much better off than you're going to be once Gerber finds out what you did with the kid. <laughs> quarantine procedures with these people was damn foolish. I realize it was a bit unorthodox, sir, but TB is a level two classification. It doesn't require an on-site quarantine. Friendly advice, Dr. Riley. If you don't want to end up dead, you'll remember that every one of these situations should be treated as a level four situation. Halter, whether or not the boy was already exposed, what difference does it make? He's protected either way. And the boy gets to be with his father now. I felt like he needed that. Great, our new guy is Florence Nightingale. <laughs> You're gonna love this place. <laughs> Stoving oven in the kitchen, hot and cold running, 170 a month plus utilities. 170. Yeah, okay, 150. I'll pay the water. Come on down to the office, we'll sign the papers. Does it have roaches? Of course not. This place is a bohemian's dream, not some slum. Come out of the office. No roaches? Damn it! What is that? 
it's a never-ending cat gut nightmare is what it is. Not to mention the worst riddle decision of my life! There's another building two blocks west here. Might be able to find something quieter there. No. I'll take this place. It's a lot nicer than where I used to live. That's you, it sounds like. Boom. It's cold and rainy in Portland this time of year. Yeah, keep it as rain. So I took a trip without you. Don't tell me you're jealous. Confused. I thought we were working together. So did I. Until I discovered your personal ads all over the country trying to contact Jared. I don't like secrets. He wasn't answering my email messages, so I tried another tank. But I would have let you know if he had contacted me. I have a fever, Sid, but it's not bad enough to believe that. What? Um, he's in lab. Who? Mr. Raines. Mr. Raines hasn't been in the lab in ten years. Well, uh, he's in there now. And he's looking for you two, so good luck. Mr. Raines? The Empire State Building. Who would have thought something so beautiful could be replicated by a four-year-old boy in only two hours? Jared was brilliant the day he got here. He was brilliant the day he escaped. The question is, where is he? Mr. Raines, Jared has been harder to catch than we thought. Sydney, we need him. contain viral outbreaks before they spread. Actually, the worst that a virus can do, and because of it, by the numbers, is usually best. In retrospect, you did the right thing with Briggs and then son, Jarrett. Listen, I was out of line. It's all right. Well, your credentials are impressive. A stint in Bamrid in London, MD, PhD in virology. Where did you do your doctorate, by the way? Horace Greeley High School, Portland. <laughs> the door is under negative air pressure to contain leaks. Yeah, we pioneered the technique here. I noticed in your file that you were vaccinated for anthrax and the WEE series. I was working in the Gulf of Nidos QRT, and the WEE was for the Bukowski syndrome in Johannesburg. A frightening scenario. Yes, very. Watching somebody suffer can have an effect on you. I hope I can make a difference here. Jared. Jeff Bates 
Toronto, decontamination and facility specialist. Nice to meet you. Take uh, stay on the handshake came down. <laughs> Mr. Betos tends to be overcautious. I was just saying a place like this, one wrong move like pressing the flesh and uh, it's off to the submarine for 10,000 years. <laughs> you call your morgue the submarine? What did you call it at Bamrit? Chernobyl. Well, we're working a level three today. Offshoot strain of Rift Valley fever. You ready to battle the unseen enemy? Absolutely. Will you be joining us, Mr. Bates? Level two is my limit now, man. Live long and prosper. Bates witnessed the man die of Ebola. He's been reluctant to go past level two ever since. Fortunately, he's the best there is when it comes to decon. separate strike teams in the top of it. Mm. He loved that job. He was the first to arrive and the last to leave. Mm. Yeah, he'd stay in places where there was no hope, no, no chance to make a difference. Holding the hand of a dying man to let him know he's not alone, that's making a difference. I'm working with Walter Garber now. I'm trying to finish the work your husband started. Well, you're lucky to be working under Walter. John thought the world of him. That's them at the uh, WHO banquet. Hmm. Hey, you're supposed to be napping. Father heard Daddy. No, it's not Daddy. It's just a friend. Oh. Hi, my name's Jared. Go lie down, honey. This has been especially hard on her. And he vanished right before her birthday. How do I explain that to Cindy? How do I explain any of it? Yeah, I I know he's not coming back. You know, I I've accepted that. I have. I wish I knew where to go from here. I mean, how to go from here. I mean, is he dead? Is he alive? It's a very beautiful ring. And John designed our wedding band. You know, I know it's corny, but he wanted them to be the only two alike in the world. when he went into the field to work. He never got sick wearing it. I'd like you to have it. I couldn't possibly accept that. No, he'd have wanted somebody who cared as much as he did to have it. Thank you.
Reaching the Pretender on NBC. Excuse me. I was wondering if you might help me. Uh, sure. What's the problem? It says here that this is a, a motel for roaches? Yeah. It's like a uh, Hotel California for our little six-legged friends, you know? Hotel California? Yeah, they can check out any time they like, but they can never leave. Oh. Oh. Like a trap. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that's perfect. I'll take 100. Right on. My name is Jared. I'm your neighbor. I, I just wanted to tell you that I'm very intrigued by your music. I'm not falling for that. I would very much like to meet you, and I would like to ask you a question. planning on it, sir, but you're more than welcome to mine. <laughs> nice to have a friendly audience for a change. Ben Hansel's the name. Ben, I need your help. And I yours. Do you play? I've conducted a symphony here and there. Very interesting. Haydn's cello concerto in C major, I believe. I rewrote it for trumpet. I'm working on an arrangement for glockenspiel. An artist must stretch, you know. Yes. How long have you been a musician? Fifteen odd years. That's a long time. But it'll all be worth it. When the Philharmonic calls, I sent them a tape about a week ago. You had a question. Yes. I'm trying to attract roaches, and this doesn't seem to work. Do you have any? Roaches? I can't get rid of them. I spilled a box of crunchy crawler cereal behind the fridge once. Well, every night they come out hunting. Crunchy crawlers? They're grotesquely delicious. And I was wondering about my interpretation of the first movement. If it's a tad subtle. Subtlety is a virtue in any form. A neighbor who is a scholar of the arts and letters. Thank you, Jared. Uh, you can uh, yell at me through the wall any time. And thank you for the tip. You will do very nicely here. seconds, the virus invades the host cell. 
with a level four virus. The results are devastating. <laughs> the Mutaba village outbreak. Subjects begin coughing only four hours after exposure. Internal bleeding commences at hour 12, and by hour 36, the subject completely bleeds out. <laughs> Gentlemen, you can ignore the flight attendant as she tries to teach you how to fasten the seatbelt. But with the Mutaba virus and other level fours, the kill rate is 90%. And may I add, an airborne virus coupled with a pinprick in your glove or a faulty seal sends you into the slammer, and from there it's an express straight to the submarine. Lights. Thank you for the safety review, Dr. Riley. You misled them back there. You and John Florence did develop a vaccine for the Coenga virus. We got lucky on that, but with Ebola or Mutaba, I'll have to keep them honest. Sorry about Dr. Florence. You must miss him. Very much. From what I understand, Dr. Florence was a family man, hardly the type to just up and leave. He was a good man. Of all people, you two should know that awful things swirl beneath the healthiest of exteriors. Uh, John confided in me that things at home weren't optimal. He never went into specifics, but he certainly enjoyed working the extra hours here rather than being at home. This is an airborne level four virus. Let's be on our toes. Commencing phase two dissection. We are at 72 hours after expiration by Mutaba strain B, so the 247. Walter? Good God. Be God. Come on, let's move it. Go! Okay, let's remain calm. Proceed with decon shower. Stay calm. You'll be fine. simulation as if it were completely real, Jared. Well, I've had a lot of practice, sir. Who we'll changed the slammer access code? They said the fewer people that have the code, the fewer people that are at risk. I don't want anybody near the slammer unless they have to be. It's your funeral. No, it's his. <laughs> <laughs> Duffer's the only person that has the access code to the slammer? And the submarine.
Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been... Oh, my God. 33 years since my last confession. I have betrayed a friend. And you must seek his forgiveness. <laughs> He has shut me out. You're troubled by something else. Have you prayed to the Lord for forgiveness? Not even he can forgive me for what I've done. Interesting interpretation. You suck! You're a polite neighbor, Jared, but I fear the cultural dwarves are right. I'm terrible. It takes a long time to master music, Ben. A lifetime would not be long enough for me. My music kills plant life. <laughs> I'm Soliari to Mozart, Jared. I curse God for bestowing me with mediocre ability. locks, pointless exercises. Did you make these? Yes. Ben, these are exquisite. Your compliment is appreciated, Jared. 
But art, it is not. Art is many things. Some choose a brush, some a bow, some a pen, and some choose glass. What do you mean? Maybe the way you create is through these pieces rather than that. You said it yourself, Ben. Sometimes an artist needs to stretch. Why the sudden change of heart? Lately, I've been seeing things from another angle, and uh, maybe it's best if you get him. Liquification of organs, on secretions of skin pores, loss of hair. Looks like an advanced version of Mataba. That's what I thought. That's what I found. This. 
I've never seen this before. Did you cross-check it? Against every sample on record. There's over 3,000 on record. Well, it did get a little tedious after the first 800. My God, Jared, this is worse than any level four I've ever seen. It's a level five. There's a level five here? It's a sample off a body in the submarine. Wait, how did you get in the submarine? Only Gar... Garber has the point. Is all research here sanctioned by a governing body? Which project isn't? It's only hearsay, but I trust the source. Garber was working on some research. I, I don't know what. What else did John Florence tell you? How did you know John was a source? Besides Garber, he was the only person that knew everything that was going on here. What else did he tell you? That Garber was working on some radical mutations of a level five. He said it started out good, but it got corrupted. John said... God would never forgive him if he let this project continue. Well, unfortunately for John Florence, he never had the chance to stop it. Hush. This virus is mutated. Mm -hmm. We'll finish this first thing Monday. between the knob, the mouthpiece, and the city water you're drinking, there's enough germs to kill a cockroach. Dr. Riley, hi. Yeah. You're probably right. I deal with the germs I can, but something tells me I wouldn't last long living in a plastic bubble. Even one equipped with a decon shower? It was an excellent performance, Jeff. Look, I, I don't know what you mean. Are you going to make me enhance the image so I can see your face? <laughs> Do you know what it's like not being able to sleep? You'd be surprised. I watched a man beg for his life. He begged to see his wife and kid again, and I... I... I didn't help. I know John Florence got infected. I know his body's in the submarine, and I know that you helped Garber doctor this tape, but what I can't figure out is why. Because it was my fault. That's why. I, I was working late. Like John and Dr. Garber, and I, I saw John come into the slammer, and he, he, he looked so frightened. The decom shower lost pressure, and that is my job to make sure that it doesn't. That that's, that is my job, Dr. Riley. And the Garber went ballistic, and he, he blamed me for John's contamination. You know, I, I've, I've never seen a virus do what it did to him, or, or, or quickly. And that's why you won't go past level two anymore. This is the John. He begged me to get his wife and kid, and, and Garber... 
driver told me to keep it quiet. He said that the, that the authorities would have to be called and that they would shut down the facility and that more lives would be lost because of my error. John Florence did not die because of you or the decon shower. He died because Walter Garber murdered him. Performing some sort of ritual. One kidnapper. It's as if he's collecting them. He's trying to make a whole woman. Four hostages. Their deaths shall come by solstice man. One mass execution. Tonight is the solstice man. One chance to stop him. They're still alive. Profiler, next on the NBC Saturday Trilogy. <laughs> into the fascinating world of cockroaches. Walter? Yes. It's Jared. I've made a very interesting discovery that I think you should check out. Well, what have you got? Well, it's still too early to be sure. But I think I found a vaccine for Mutaba. Uh, I'll meet you in the lab in an hour, Jared. Perfect. sample on this liver my god man it's an airborne virus Oh, 
Morgan started to liquefy. How long, Walter? Give me that syringe. Why? John Florence never had this option. Why should you? Jerry, it was an accident. He knew he was going to die, and I'll bet the last thing he wanted to do was just to see his family one more time, to say goodbye to his wife and to his child. But you couldn't give him that peace, could you, Walter? Because then the truth would come out about how you were trying to play God with all these viral experiments. You took John Florence's life, and you ruined his family's as well. That is no accident. All right, I did it, I admit it, I killed him. The, the, the research was very valuable. Please, give me the vaccine. All right, Walter. But I will warn you, it's only sugar water. Sugar water? I don't know how to make a vaccine. You see, I'm not really a virologist. The truth is, this place gives me the creep. What? You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. No! No! Aren't you going to tell him you didn't really infect him? Yeah, why don't you do it? In 48 hours. After the police get this. Well, go left. You take that room. Good morning, class. Today's lesson takes us into the fascinating world of cockroaches. Nothing. He's gone. No, it's but not forgotten. This is a bug motel. When the hormones off a roach's body, which is the wet stuff you just walked through, combines with the sticky stuff inside of the box, which you are standing in, it forms a bond, which is stronger than epoxy. Welcome to the world's largest bug motel. You son of a bitch. Enjoy your stay. Class dismissed. I'm stuck. on the rocks. One ice cube. Clever way of contacting me, Sidney. No one at the center would have ever known what this meant. I had to see you face to face. Did Miss Parker take the bait? Was you my bait. I have to ask you for something. You're in no position to ask me for anything. Not even your forgiveness? What? For keeping you in the center? For the lies all these years? Did you send me this? No, I did not. Parker did. With your name on it. What is it? Reminders, issues I must take up with myself. God. And with you. I can't. 
come to you with an olive branch. All right. You want my forgiveness? And tell me what happened to my mom and dad. I can't. I don't know the truth. Then you and Sandra will never get me back. And I can't forgive you, Sydney. I can't forgive myself. Chicago Philharmonic. We received the extraordinary glass sculpture you made, and we'd like to set up a time for you to meet with our merchandise coordinator. We have next Wednesday. Thank you for everything. I'm starting a new job. You've got roaches? 